guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are here for the first time, hi, welcome. And for those who are returning again, thank you, thank you for supporting and watching this channel. And so this video is going to be essentially about how I took no one, not, not, not for, but five A levels. Um, and yeah, so let's let's begin. Actually, there was a reason. There was a reason behind all of this. <laughs> Um, as to why I took five A levels and um, so just to get it out there so I took biology chemistry maths further maths and economics also I believe in my sixth form we had to take general studies to AS and um, I took also an extended project qualification I think EPQ so extended project qualification so I did that as well um, but really the reason why I took five A levels do you know when you're like <sighs> you just don't know what to do kind of thing um you know there are some people that want to be lawyer some people that want to be engineer some people that want to be you know entrepreneur all that no like at that time i just did not know what i wanted to do and I, it's a case where i didn't want to restrict myself in any shape or any form um so you know back in year eight year eight year nine time I did say I wanted to be a doctor and I say that because I said that because I really enjoyed biology and chemistry the theoretical parts that is um, when it comes to practicals <laughs> hey. when it came to you know going to surgeries or some of the surgeries during my work experience yeah I just yeah that was it wasn't for me and that's why I advise I highly recommend to those who are thinking of pursuing a particular profession or career path just make sure that you have some sort of experience in your pocket just to see whether it is for you or for or not for you but essentially that was the case with me however number one I did not want to rule it out I didn't want to rule out the medicine path um, just kind of maybe a couple of surgeries that I've been to it might have been the experience at those particular surgeries or hospitals and also in medicine you can specialize in different areas um, so yeah I didn't want to completely rule out the medicine path but I also didn't want to like it's not just medicine that i could venture into right there's research there's all sorts so um yeah i didn't want to completely rule out the sciences but then during i'll say when i was prepping for gcse's i studied business studies and i really enjoyed it like it was an insight to you know how businesses firms work and it gave also like an open door to like the economic side of things so that was something i was really curious at the time um so you know having done a bit of research so some of the universities that i wanted to apply to so for example warwick they highly recommended maths or further maths so um yeah again i didn't want to rule myself out so i chose you know the maths, further maths and also economics just to kind of understand a bit more um, as to the economic side of things. So yeah, um, those were the five subjects that I decided to um, take. How was my experience? <laughs> what was it like? <laughs> I won't lie, it was challenging. It was um, it was a case where I had to put in a lot of work. With me, it was a case where I need to understand something fully. It could be a case where I can spend multiple times looking over it. So um, yeah, there was that. And also I felt like during my sixth form, so I went to a different sixth form as opposed to you know the school that I went to for my secondary education uh, I felt that sixth form was quite they didn't really support you like that um, so there was a lot of independent study that I had to do which again it helped me when it came to university because you're not going to be spoon fed all the time or <laughs> barely most of the time it will be spoon fed like it's up to you to do um, what you what you, you to do essentially and so yeah it was a case where uh, 
would, I, would, I would have to do a lot of work before school, after school, maybe lunchtime, you know, just to make sure that I was on top of things. And I say it was challenging because usually, you know, with maths, you do the um, AS modules, so three AS modules in year 12, and then you do the A2 modules um, in year 13. Um, it was a case where all of those modules I did in year 12, as well as all of the other AS modules um, for, the other, for the other subjects. So um, there was that, and I won't lie, some of the, like maths, hey, <laughs> maths from GCSE to A levels, it, it was kind of, for me, it was um, quite a big step up. So <laughs> yeah, um, it was kind of that, and, and just trying to acclimatise to a new environment, a new sixth form. So again, yeah, it was definitely quite um, challenging, but you know, the law got me through, we thank God. Um, and yeah, you know, my learning experience from, you know, taking five A-levels, was five A-levels necessary? <laughs> but, um, you know, something that I learned was, with me, it felt like I was jumping from one place to another, doing bits and bobs of different subjects. But if you, you know, focus on you know, a few subjects, just concentrate, spend more time, spend more effort on those, it, it is much better as opposed to, you know, spreading out your effort on multiple um, subjects. Um, so with my degree, um, so I take economics, for those who don't know, at the University of Warwick, you don't have to take economics. And I know that there are some universities out there where you don't need to take economics in order to do an economics degree. Obviously, it does depend whether it's a BSc or BA. Um, economics is so vast. Um, so just make sure that you check out with that when it comes to universities. That, however, there are some universities, like for example, Warwick, um, they do highly favour maths. Um, but anyway, they don't, you didn't really need to do economics per se. It can be helpful though. If I was, my personal experience from A level maths, I mean, A level economics to uni economics, it's, it's very different, I won't lie. However, there are some, you know, career paths like medicine, for example, where. Um, you have to take, I believe it's you have to take chemistry. Biology can be, it's not compulsory, but it is complementary, like it is beneficial. So if you're thinking again, if you want to go down the doctor or the medicine route, do be mindful of that, like chemistry is compulsory. Um, what I would advise though, is you know the difference between hard, subjects and soft subjects just in case that like, you don't want to be restricted in any shape or any form when it comes to you um, or for those thinking of applying to university they have some um, subjects which you know they probably won't allow when it comes to the offer that they will give you so just make sure that when you're choosing for A-levels that you look at that. I believe when um, they told like my class that it was a bit too late, like um, they told us after we've taken our A-levels, which it didn't really make that much sense. So definitely make sure that you um, look at what is required um, when it comes to the specific course or degree that you want to go to. So yeah, I might even do a specific A-levels um, video as to kind of what I did to prep for, for my A-levels. But um, yeah, hopefully that gives an insight as to my experience with my A-levels. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Hi there, thank you for watching this video and make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. Also, make sure that you check out the latest videos and I will see you soon.